Hello, Maris. Hello, Pablo. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, just, uh, it is really hot. I don't know if you feel that, but it's really hot. Yes. Okay. And you, how do you feel today? Um, so, so. So, so, are you better? Yeah. In, in Friday, I was a sick in the office. Yes, I, I, I noticed that you were sick. Yes. But you went to the doctor already? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, uh, in the hospital all night. <gasps> okay, uh, Maris. Mm -hmm. They relaxed me mm -hmm. on Saturday. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, but you, you feel better today. So, so. So, so, okay. Okay, Maris, I understand. Don't worry, okay? So, okay. yes. Then, good evening, Abigail. Good evening, Pablo. How are you? How was your weekend? Mm -hmm. Abigail and Pablo, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How I, are you? I I apologize for uh, I able to participate, sure, but I I am with a uh, dental patient. Oh, okay. it is difficult for me to speak. Okay, got it. Thank you, Pablo. All right, thank you. Yes, thank hey, you. you, Abigail, are you there? No, Abigail is not there. Okay, well, guys, we're going to start with today's class. Well, today is, is going to be our last um, week, right? So we're finishing this coming Friday. So today's agenda, we are going to start with the warm up. Then we are going to move to the grammar part. And um, in the grammar part, we are going to make a review on the second conditional. So this is something that we covered on Friday, yeah? Some of you were not present on Friday, so we are going to make a review only, okay? And we are going to move to different activities. Then we also have listening quiz, we have grammar quiz, we have reading quiz, and we have the speaking time, okay? So we're going to start with the following, okay? So we have um, the warm up. In this case, we have a tongue twister, but I think that most of you in this case um, probably are kind of sick, yeah? So we're going to move directly to the grammar part, okay? So let me ask the ones that were present on um, Friday, okay? Do you remember that we covered the second conditional? And what do you remember? Okay, so I can see that we have Abigail, we have Luis Miguel, we also have a um, Tony. Okay, you were here on Friday, right? Well, Tony, uh, like just for some minutes, I think, because he was kind of busy on Friday. So, but the other ones, do you remember that we covered the second conditional? Yes or no? Uh huh? The second conditional, and what do you remember about the second conditional? The second yeah. conditional, do you we use a simple past? Okay. And, and use a, a word. The model. Perfect. You use the model. Correct. Very good, Maris. That is correct. Okay. So we use the simple past and we also use would. Carlos Omar, do you remember about the second conditional? I don't remember. Sorry. You don't remember? Okay. No. Okay. Were you um in the class on Friday? Um I have a problem with my internet. Oh, okay. with your internet. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Yes, yeah, so you were here. Okay. Um. Well, 
Uh, somebody else that remembers something about the second conditional, what we covered on Friday? No? Yes? Maybe? Atilio, okay. Got it, Atilio. I think that, oh, no, he's not here. Okay. Uh -huh. Nobody? Okay. So let's see, guys. We are going to make a review on the second conditional so you remember about it, okay? Uh, good evening. Okay, good evening, Tony. So let's see. Let's start. Okay. Um, Carlos Omar, help us reading. The second conditional. The second conditional is a grammatical structure used to talk about hypothetical and unreal situation in the present or future. A example, if I won the lottery, I will I will buy a big house. Mm -hmm. If if I have more time, I will travel the world. If they study harder, she will pass the exam. If, if it's raining, tomorrow we will stay indoors. indoors. Okay. Continue. The second, the second conditional allows us to es, es, speculate, yes. imagine, or discuss possibilities that are different from the reality. Okay. If it helps, can be ideas about what could happen in certain situation. In certain situations. Thank you. Okay. A Carlos Omar, pronunciation. This one is used. Use. Hypothetical. 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 And this one. Okay. Let me ask you, okay? Let's uh, put into practice what we learned last week about simple past pronunciation, which is the final sound of this one, which is the ending of this one. How does it sound? The pronunciation? Raining. Mm, Rain. Rained, right? Rain. Because... Look at this, rain, and it has vibrations. So we should pronounce it like rain. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. So guys, the second conditional, as you can see right here, well, it is something that we covered on, on Friday last week, but today we're going to make a review because I'm pretty sure that some of you do not remember um, about the, the second conditional, right? And we are going to reinforce this topic so we can go ahead and move to another topic. So the second conditional is basically the one that we used to talk about hypothetical or unreal situations in the present or future, yeah? So we have some examples. If I won the lottery, I would buy a big house. If I had more time, I would travel the world. If she studied harder, she would pass the exam. If it rained tomorrow, we would stay indoors. Yeah. So the second conditional allows, allows us to speculate. Yeah. To speculate, to imagine or discuss possibilities that are different from the reality. Yeah. That's why we say hypothetical or unreal situations. So it helps convey ideas about what could happen in certain situations. The second conditional, hypothetical things, hypothetical ideas, okay? It is something that is unreal. So if I won the lottery, I would buy a big house. Si yo ganara la lotería, yo, Compraría una gran casa. Hypothetical situation because it's almost impossible, right? Yeah. Teacher, mm -hmm. the structure 
for these sentences is the uh, the conditional, and I'm I'm seeing that is in the verb is in past. No, right. In past. Yeah. In past. In simple past. Okay. Yeah, that is correct. So now let's answer uh, your question, okay? So yes, the structure is basically the first, the sentence that goes with if, the if sentence is basically the one that goes in simple past, okay? That one is simple past, okay? This sentence is simple past. Okay, and then we also have the other sentence that we have subject, would, verb in base form, and complement. That this one could be a modal verb. Okay, so we have, if I knew his name, comma, okay, comma, I would tell you. If I knew his name, I would tell you, right? Yes, si yo supiera su nombre, te lo diría. Yeah? With the negative is the same, okay? We have if plus a sentence in simple past and the second sentence with the modal verb and do not forget about the comma, okay, in the middle. Okay, and we have coma, and we have the example. If I didn't have a headache, I would go to the party. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. And we also have questions. With the questions, we start um, as a question, and we have would plus subject plus verb in base form, if, no comma is needed, then subject and simple past sentence. Would she come if I paid for her flight? Would she come? Vendría ella? Would she come? Si yo pagara por su vuelo? Yes, she would. No, she wouldn't. We don't know, right? So in this case, the second conditional, the second conditional, listen to this, is simple past plus would. And the sentence that goes after if is going to be the one that is in simple past. It is a rule, it is mandatory, okay? Simple past after if. Second conditional. Okay, so now let's move and we have more examples. Yes, we have number one, two, and three. And um, Carlos Omar, help us reading, please. Okay, example. If I have the chance, I will visit every country in the, in the world. Mm -hmm. If I have a magic wand, I would eliminate well, Poverty. 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 If, if it rained tomorrow, I would stay home and watch movie. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if I had the chance, I would visit every country in the world. Hypothetical situation. Because probably you are really busy. You, you cannot do that, right? But if you have the chance, you would visit every country in the world. Of course, right? I think that we all will do it. Yes. If I had a magic wand, what is a magic wand? Una varita magica. If I had a magic wand, I would eliminate poverty. Si yo tuviera una varita magica, Eliminaría, yo eliminaría la pobreza, poverty. If it rained tomorrow, si llueve mañana, I would stay home and watch movies. 
¿Sí? Yo me quedaría en casa y viera películas. Yes. Hypothetical, because you don't know if that will happen. I mean, it's unreal. Hypothetical. About the future in this case. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Questions? Doubts so far? No. No. All right. Guys, let's move and let's um just move to this extra information. Uh, Carlos Omar, help us read. Okay. The second conditional extra information. In the second conditional, when the bear in the if clause is a form of B, we use where, where instead if of was. Note that this use of where is possible and rec recommended with the old subject. What is also becoming as acceptable, but many grammarians still insist that you should use where. Yes, thank you, Carlos. Where, uh, well, we were talking about this um, on Friday as well. And this one is uh, something that we should know. When we talk about the second conditional and we use the verb to be, we should use where for all the subjects, no was. It is a rule, okay? We should use where, not was. Why? And why? Why? Should... Yes. Because... Why? Why? <clears throat> why don't use was? Yes. It is first of all because that is the rule, and second of all, I would say that since it is a conditional, okay, it is a conditional. That's why we cannot use was because it is a conditional. Yes, you rule. It is a regla. Yes, it is a rule. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, but only with the second conditional. Only with the second condition. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So we have the examples. If she were my daughter, I wouldn't let her drop out of school. If she were my daughter, that will never happen, right? Nunca va a pasar porque es la hija de alguien más. If she were my daughter, si ella fuera mi hija, uh -huh, I wouldn't, no la dejaría que. What is the meaning of drop out of a school? Uh -huh. Drop out. Leave the school. Leave the school. Leave the school. Uh, if I were an animal, I would like to be a wolf. Yes, that is the second conditional. That is the, the common questions that the interviewers ask, right? If you were an animal, what animal would you be and why? Second conditional. They are testing if you know conditionals. Okay. Sure. An example, if I were millionaire, I'll... I will adopt every cat and dog in the street. Yes, from the street, yes. Oh, from the street, okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Hypothetical, right? Because right now we are not millionaires. Yeah. So in this case, if I were you, if I were you, I would take a break and relax, right? When se ve a alguien bien estresado, right? Y usted le dice, si yo fuera tú, Yo haría el otro, yo haría esto. So if I were you, I would take a break and relax. Uh -huh. If I were you, I would look for another uh, job. If I were you, I wouldn't say that. If I were you, I wouldn't behave in that way. If I were you, I wouldn't buy that expensive pair of shoes. You will need the money, right? 
etc. Yes? So if I were you, no if I was you, if I were you, because we use were for all pronouns, for all subjects. Mm -hmm. Any doubt? Something else that is not clear? No? Okay. So guys, um, on Friday, we also talked about zero, first, and second conditional. We talk about the three of them, yeah? So with the zero conditional, we have an example. If you eat a lot, you put on weight. So um, if you notice, okay, if you notice, guys, we use the simple present and the simple present. For the first conditional, we use simple present and will. If they are hungry, I will make some sandwiches. So zero conditional is for real things, yeah? First conditional is for real things as well. And the second conditional is for unreal, for hypothetical. And we use simple past and would. If she saw a snake, she would be terrified. Si ella viera, right? Una serpiente, she would be terrified. Yes. So in this case, we have, right now, we have a study of three conditionals. Zero, first, and second. Huh? And we also covered a short reading. Just for you to see how, how to use conditionals in different um, contexts. Yeah. So let me see. Teacher would put, yes. Yes, you can change it. You can use also could. Yes, you can change it. But the most common one is going to be would. The most common one. But of course, you can change it. Yeah. For could. Um, yes, for could. Then we have um, this short reading that we covered. And Carlos Omar, help us reading um, all of that. Okay. The if generation. Uh -huh. Nowadays, many people have issues with the appreciation what they have. It is always a matter of if I were rich, if I were younger, if I were him, etc. Okay. I don't have a I don't have a problem with the fact that we want more from our lives. What ano no sé, annoys what and annoys we? annoys me is the fact that we keep saying what we will do if. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, I keep finding myself the new if, if that can successfully mm -hmm. keep me away from being happy. I think that if I had more time, I would start going to the gym. If I had more money, I would eat healthy, etc. It is time to take control of your life and if you want something. Work hard and get it. Mm -hmm. Remember, if you don't, if you don't do anything for your life, no nobody will do it for you. Every man is responsible responsible for this own destiny. For his, for his own, own, own destiny. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, guys. As you can see right here, we have this uh, short paragraph. Right, um, we have different sentences and we are using different conditionals, right? If we are able to identify the type of conditionals we are using right here, this one is going to be the second conditional. If I were rich, if I were younger, if I were him, hypothetical um, thoughts. And then we also have, if I had more time, 
I would start going to the gym. Second conditional because of the structure. If I had more money, second conditional. But what about this one? If you want something, work hard and get it. That one is going to be? First conditional. In this case, um, if you notice, simple present and simple present. It's zero conditional. It's zero okay. conditional, yeah? But what about the next one? If you don't do anything for your life, nobody will do it for you. This one is the first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just will. Mm -hmm. Simple present and will. And then we have the last. Uh, well, that one was the last one, okay? Every man is responsible for his, for his own destiny. Yeah? Um, all right. Do you have any question? Something that is not clear? No? Uh, just to remember that, that the second conditional is for hypothetical um, situations. Yes, hypothetical. Hypothetical. And the, the first conditional is for something that you want to happen. Correct. But in the, in the zero conditional, is something that is going to happen? Um, segui, how do you say seguido de, de, de una... Um, de una acción que, que tú hagas. It is going to happen after an action. An action you make. That you, you do. You do, okay. Yes, correct. Okay. That is correct. It is like a consequence. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, okay, it is like. Clear. I think it's clear. Okay, very good. Somebody else that probably may have a doubt. Now, okay, very good. Well, guys, um, let's see. So, um, if we don't have any question, let's tr uh, try to complete this, okay? Before we take the the quiz, okay? So let's see. Number one, if Linda, uh, where, where, okay? So if Linda. Where here, okay. I'm sure she would help. would help us. Okay, very good. Yeah. Number two. What? Second conditional. Second conditional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you do mm -hmm. if, if you, you solve a ghost? Excellent. If you saw a ghost. If you saw. Okay. Correct. So, teacher. So, without the W. Yeah, so. Yes, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And what about number three? If I. Ham, I found some money in the street. Um, uh -huh. yes, I will. I will take it to the police. But it's the second conditional. Mm -hmm. I will or I would? I will take it. I will take it. I would yeah, take it. I will take it. Yeah, because this is the second conditional, okay? The second conditional. So you would do this because it is the second conditional. Okay, so number four. Michael.
Mm -hmm. Where? Michael, we're angry. Okay. Oh, what's up? Oh, what's up? Mandala Instagram. My God. Okay. So, Michael, we're angry if someone <laughs> took took his computer. Took. Mm. Okay. But remember that in order for us to create the second conditional, we need to use the two sentences. One is going to be the simple past and the other one with would. We need to use both. So here we are not using both, use the simple past, but that is not correct. We need to change. What do we need to change? And probably um, um, a tip, remember that the, the sentence that goes with if, with the if clause, yes, the one that follows the if goes in simple past. So that means that this one is correct. But this one is not correct. Why not? Because in this case, we need to add would be. Michael would be angry if someone took his computer without permission. Maybe what you see different is that we don't start with if. If is in the end. So maybe you get confused with that. But we can use the sentences like we need, we can switch them. I mean, whenever it's possible, right? Cuando sea que sea posible. Why? Because look at this. I'm sure she would help us if Linda were here. It doesn't make sense, right? Casi no tiene sentido si le damos vuelta. Pero en ocasiones sí tiene mucho sentido. Right. Uh, for example, in this case, uh, if someone took his computer without permission, Michael would be angry. Or Michael would be angry if someone took his computer without permission. We can switch the sentences, but it is mandatory that we use the sentence that goes after if in the simple past and the other one with would. That is a tip. That is a key, a clue. Yeah. So what about number five? If we. If we don't. Simple past. If I wear in coat. No. If we didn't catch. If we didn't catch. Catch. Oh my God, okay. If we didn't catch. Uh -huh, the, the nine o'clock bus, we. We would arrive too late. We would arrive too late. Arrive in the verb, right? We would arrive too late. Mm -hmm. What about number six? Carla. What's mm -mm. Okay, first of all, first of all, guys, let's identify. Ok, primero que nada, vamos a identificar cuál es la oración que tiene que ir en pasado simple. ¿Cuál es? Es la oración que le sigue a if. Entonces sería es. Aquí tiene que ir el pasado simple. 
Entonces, esta ya no lleva pasado simple. Porque ya esta sabemos que es la del pasado. Entonces, vamos a decir, Carla wouldn't, uh -huh, Carla wouldn't be upset, porque esta lleva would or wouldn't, y como es negativa, va a ser wouldn't. So, Carla wouldn't be upset if you told her the truth. So, Carla no estaría molesta si tú le dijeras la verdad. Number seven, the same thing. First of all, we need to identify which is the sentence that goes in simple past. Okay, I know that the sentence in the second conditional that goes in simple past is the one that follows if, yes? In this case, is this one. Yeah. And the other one is just would in the verb. Yeah. So we can say, if I, I knew. Have, if I knew. If I knew how to solve this problem, I would do it. Si yo supiera cómo resolver este problema, yo lo haría. If I knew how to solve this problem, I would do it. When you have different issues, right? And you say, si yo supiera, yo lo haría. So if I knew, I would do it. If I knew how to solve this problem, I would do it. Number eight, the same thing. First of all, Let's identify which is the, uh, the one that goes in simple past. So if, right, this one goes in simple past and the other one just would, yeah? So we have, if I Cold. failed, failed, yeah, ED, the exam, I would be very disappointed. I have studied so hard. Yeah. Si yo fallara el examen, yo estaría muy decepcionado. Yo he estudiado arduo. Hmm? Number nine. Jenny, the same thing. Let's identify which is the one that goes in simple past. Where is if? If is in the middle. So the one that goes in simple past is this one. And this one goes with would. Uh -huh. Jenny would make a nice cake if she knew how to cook well. Cuando se dice, yo haría tal cosa si, se, eh, si supiera cocinar, right? Uh -huh. And the last one. If my husband spends be a famous actor, coma, he spends earn a lot of money. So which one is the one that goes in simple past? In this case is the okay. first Correct. And the other one is just with would. So we say, if my husband were, were a famous actor, he would he will earn, earn a, lot of a lot of money. So that is the, the tip when you are taking exams. You are going to read. Use the second conditional, right? So you know what is the second conditional. Mm -hmm. Use the first conditional. You know what is the structure of the first conditional. Use the zero conditional. You know what is the zero conditional. And everything goes by a structure. Everything. If you follow the structure, it is going to be easy. 
But if not, it is going to be difficult. So let's follow the structure, yeah? Remember, the second conditional, we have if and then a simple past sentence. And the other sentence, it doesn't matter if goes at the beginning or at the end, goes with would. Yeah? That is when it comes to grammar. Do you have any question? Is there any doubt right now? No? Something that is not clear? Something that you would like to know? No? Okay. All right. Then, if you don't have any question, we are going to take the grammar quiz about the second conditional only. No first conditional, no zero conditional. It is second conditional, okay? So I hope to see good scores because nobody asked questions, okay? So I need to please, if you need this information, go to the spreadsheet and open the class and take a look at these examples and the structure, okay? So you can get, um, I mean, you can understand and comprehend the topic in a better way, okay? So let's try to do our best and the grammar quiz is this one. I'm going to send it, okay? So the, um, the link is that one and the passcode is going to be grammar. Sure, I am driving. Yes, if you are driving or if you cannot take it, it's okay. But if you are able to take it, please take it, okay? And um yes uh, we're going to have around eight minutes okay but be careful with it with the i'm i'm going to leave the structure there okay so probably some of you will need it okay Let me see. Oh my God, there are men. Thank you, Jonathan. Don't teacher. Thank you. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. Very good. Okay, guys. Yeah.
Okay. Let's see. Let me see, Carla. Carla, Carla, Carla. Tatiana, okay. Miss, excuse me. Yes. Uh, why um, I I wear I I ah, no se sé confronta. Yeah, try, no try. Es, que no, que no es I was. No. Um, I'm going to explain that in, in a minute, okay? Ya le voy a explicar. Okay, thank yes. you. Okay. Okay, I, I think that I, I got most of you. Let me see. Him. Oh, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm comparing some of your scores, right, from the ones that uh, took the exam on, on, on Friday, the first one about the second conditional uh, to this new one, and I can see that you have improved, okay? Some of you improved, yeah? So that is something good. Now, who can explain to us, okay, who can explain to us um, why is where and no was? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Teacher, I only remember that it is a rule that we have to use where for all the pronouns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is this is an for an hypothetical uh, an hypothetical um, circumstance or hypothetical. Um, I don't know. Which situation? Situation, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yes. it is a rule, only that. Thank you. Yes. Okay. And um, this this is for everybody. Okay. Just maybe you have the same uh, question. Okay. So guys, um, remember that with the second conditional, the second conditional. Okay. I mentioned that in this slide. Yeah. It says in the second conditional when the verb in the if clause is a form of the verb to be, what happened? We use where instead of was. Why? Because it is a rule. Es una regla. Okay? And we cannot change the rule. No podemos cambiar. Only, only the, the second condition. Just with the second conditional, okay? With all of the pronouns, únicamente con el segundo, de ahí con ningún otro. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right, guys. Um, and we had some examples, right? If she were my daughter, 
I wouldn't let her drop out of school. If I were you, I would take a break and relax. Hmm? You see? With all the pronouns. Where instead of was. It is a rule for the second conditional. Yeah? All right. So now let's move. And what we are going to do is that we are going to practice a speaking. And the speaking time is going to be about the second conditional. Okay? We need to practice the second conditional. Yeah? So guys, if you're able to join the room, the breakout room, let's do it. If you cannot join because you are driving, right? It's okay. But the ones that can participate, let's do it. Okay, let's try to speak. Okay, let's move. Teacher, uh, sorry, I, 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 uh, I don't know how to say it. Try. Um, it, there was an apago. Yes, an outage. It is raining. Here is going to rain as well. Yeah, I know. So the light was enough, but the modem <laughs> was not just, working. Yes. My God. Okay, but the good thing is that you are here, right? So it's okay, don't worry. Okay, teacher, thank you. Yes, okay. No. Uh, I'm in the cell phone. Me too. On the cell phone. Um, yes. Okay, if you want, I can send the, the pictures, right? So you can probably see them. Yeah, please, teacher. Okay, let me go ahead and do it. Yeah, it's raining. Is it not raining right there where you live? No. Yes. It's, it's not raining. It's... Um... <laughs> How do you say neblina? A uh, fog. It is foggy right there? Yes. <laughs> okay. Where do you live? <laughs> I live in Olocuita. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so that's you... why. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. I'll I send the, the four slides, okay, so you can you can have all of them. Mm, okay. A speaking time conversion no. but this is you Thank can you. have a happy family life and successful okay. career at the same time it is this for the oh, yeah. but I think this is not for conditional oh. no. change Okay, well, let me let me search which one is for the second conditional. I think this is okay. Here we have it. If oh. you have only twenty four hours to live, what would you do? In my case, and uh, if I have. 24 hours for life. Mm -hmm. I I will listen music and watch movies. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, in my mm -hmm. case, if I have only 24 hours to live, maybe uh -huh. I, I will try to go as far as I can to know other places. Uh -huh. uh, may try to meet um, new people, I think. Yeah. If I only have only 24 hours to live, I will spend a lot of time with my family and with my best friends in the places that I really love it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the next, if you were... Uh. Giving, if you were given three wishes, what would you wish? Uh, for me, I would wish them. Wish them. You what, sorry? Sabiduria. Wisdom. Sabiduria. Wisdom. He would ask for wisdom. Okay. Okay, that is the first, the first wish. Yeah. But you have only three. This, only this. Uh, me, I will, I ask wisdom too. Um, knowledge and help. Those were my three wishes. Those are my three wishes. Uh, wisdom, knowledge, and help. Okay. Um, if I were given three wishes, I will uh, I will ask for money for a business, help for my family, and serve the nature. Okay, if I were given three wishes, I will ask the first, prosperity in the whole world. The second, I will ask for health for everybody. And the last one, I will um, ask for, oh, no, 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 let me check. Mm, peace, I think, for everybody, but for the, for the whole world. I never asked only something just for me. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Um, Aleida, uh, okay. just um, bringando. It is drizzling. Drizzling. Ah, oh, okay. Drizzling. drizzling. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. And teacher, what about you? If you... If I had three wishes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that um, first... I don't know. Maybe I would ask for help, right? Mm -hmm. For help. Then I would ask for maybe I would ask for money. And the last one I would ask I would ask, um, I don't know. I would ask to have an opportunity to travel around the world, probably, without okay. paying. <laughs> that would be perfect. Yeah, without paying, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
I will ask. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, next. If you could be another man or woman for a day, who would you choose? Mm -hmm. For me, uh, I would be uh, Brad Pitt. Oh my God, Brad Pitt. Why, Mari? <laughs> <laughs> Why Brad Pitt? Uh, and you, Carlo? Okay. Uh, in the terms, in the terms. Um, yes. If I could be another man or woman for a day, who would you choose? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I like and uh, Adele. I, I love Adele. <laughs> Okay. I want to see like I want to see like her. Okay, you see? Okay. okay, he will completely change, right? Okay. That is good. I mean, yes. You are a risk taker. It's very difficult this question. No. I guess I would like to uh, to be Nikola Tesla. Ah, oh, okay. Oh. Okay. That's true. I, I'm very curious the, the way that uh, the way that he watched the, the work and everything. Oh. Okay. The, the way he sees, okay? The way he sees. Yeah, the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that would be good. If I could be another woman for a day, I will choose, um, I think it's Margarita Princess. Oh, okay. The uh, King Charles sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is only good. for like one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I think that that would be like really interesting, right? To see what they do. Uh huh. And all of that. Yeah. And if you could be another man or woman teacher for a day, who would you choose? Mm. You know, that one is a really difficult question. Yes. But yeah, for me, it's difficult. But I think that, um, I don't know, maybe, no, I haven't thought about that. But I will be, I would like to be somebody, uh, a famous person. But I don't know who. You don't know whom? No, okay. I don't know. Maybe a singer, teacher? Mm, could or be. A, but okay. maybe, Barack, maybe Barack Obama. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. In my okay. case, if I, if I could be another man, uh, I would like to be Lionel Messi. <laughs> I consider he's a very famous person in is considered one of the best uh, player soccer. Soccer that's player? Why, yeah. A soccer player. Yes. That's why I'd like to, to be him. Uh, teacher. Yes. Emerson is in the main room. Oh, really? Uh, he is requesting to, to join us. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> yes, it's okay. okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, if you could date a celebrity, a celebrity, who would you choose? A celebrity. Uh, in my case, mm -hmm. I would choose. I would choose. Yeah. I will show 
Shakira. I would choose Shakira. Because Shakira. she's single. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Shakira. Okay, who else? If you call the a celebrity, who would you choose? Um, in my case, I will choose Elena Boham Carter. Who? Hello, Elena Boham? Yes. Oh, interesting. Yes. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. 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 It, it, it's a different beauty, but it's beautiful. Yeah, Elena Boham. Yes. An excellent actress. Yes. <laughs> I really like her. Yeah, it's totally different. Uh, let me check. Good evening. Good evening. So Emerson is here. Ask him. Okay. Emerson, if you could Hi. be another man or women for a day, who would you choose? <laughs> what kind of question is this? <laughs> <laughs> we are not going to judge you. If you want to be another woman, you, you, yes, you can try okay. it, okay? No worry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hypothetical situations. Yes. If I, if I be a woman, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yeah. when. <laughs> you haven't thought about it, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> When the door is made. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining. Yes. It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> I will be in BBS. Yeah. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Yes. <laughs> Because I believe that the, in this time, Elon Musk is a very important person and uh, interesting. Uh, yes, I would be Elon Musk. And if you were given three wishes, what would you wish? If you wish, pet money, a lot of money. Yeah, okay. okay, you the have three wishes. Wish. That is the first. Mm -hmm. um, the second wishes, maybe. Hmm. Doing a trip for uh, one year around the world. <laughs> you see? <laughs> okay. In the last wish. We can repeat the uh, all the wish. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that is <laughs> smart, <laughs> right? Yes. No, there, okay. no there is recent restriction, but I, I can. Yeah. Yeah, I can. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay. So we, we were talking about the last one, and if you could date a celebrity, who would you choose? Mm -hmm. You can repeat it. I don't hear it. Yeah, he didn't hear it. Oh, uh, yeah. If you could date a celebrity, who would you choose? I would choose Simon Simon. The singer of Kiss? This is a singer, yes. Yes, for, from Kiss, correct? This is the vocalist of the group, call it, oh. um, call it Epica. Okay. Epica, oh, yeah. oh yeah, okay. Simon Simon. Okay, Simon. I got it, yes. Me, me, me. Okay. Ask me, ask me. Who, Tony? Hello, <laughs> I'm back. Oh my God, Tony, what, what was going on? Oh my gosh, I'm working too late, too late, too late. I'm yeah. going to the alone, alone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Tony, is it raining? No, not right now. I'm coming from 
sa Katekuluka and uh, almost in, in San Marcos and it's, it's only cloudy right now. Cloudy, okay. All right, got it. Okay, okay, so, okay be careful, Tony. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, if I want to have a date with a celebrity, I choose mm -hmm. Beyonce. Beyond. Beyond. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Tony, okay. Okay, Tony. Tony, okay. And my wife, no. Ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That, uh, he's like a woman, and, and then that is not jealous about that. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. perfect. Okay, Tony. If you could be another man or women for a day, who would you choose? Mm. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, um, a big, big person that um, marks my life in, in, in different aspects, uh, Juan Pablo II. Mm, okay. okay, the pop. Nice. The pop. Yeah. yeah. It's a, a remarkable person for my life in, 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 okay. in different uh, yeah perfectly uh, uh, or it's obviously in, in the religion uh, and uh, a religion subject. okay and if you if you were given three wishes what would you wish uh The first one, um, I I want to know my wife more younger. Okay. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, because yes. I uh, because she is is uh, is old for me and and, and I enjoyed the uh, past the time with with she and and with her? perfect for me and. Uh, okay. the, uh, we know uh, when we have uh, nine, 18 years old, and, and, and but it's so difficult, but it's a, a, a beautiful experience in my life. The second one, um, I want to, I, I wish, I wish, I wish uh, that remember all my, my issues to to know, to, to don't do it again. Okay, okay, your mistakes. Um, your mistakes. <laughs> uh, my mistakes, exactly. And the third one is that I need to wish another tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we are going to move for the next uh, slide. Yeah, okay. for the next slide. Um, okay, we have it. The first one says, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Hey, I will, I will travel to Iceland. Oh, to I Iceland. Want. Because yeah. because it's so beautiful the, the nature, the nature, the nature, and one of my favorite singer uh, lives there. Lives there. Okay. Who is your favorite favorite singer? Uh, Bjork. New York. Bjork. Bjork is a uh, alternative music. Ah, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> no, I know, but I only I know one one song for this for this picture. Only one song. Okay. Yeah. If, if I could travel anywhere in the world, I will I will travel to Greece. Why? Greece. Greece. Oh, Greece. Beautiful. Greece. Why? Um, because I would like to taste and uh, know the culture 
and the food there because it's the the. What place is that? I don't know that country. Greece. 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 Ah, okay, Greece. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks, because thanks, thanks. I think it's very fundam. His his no the history of this country is fundamental in our present. That is the reason. That's what I like the, the mythology. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful. <laughs> yes. But this is the origin of all type of God, God. Uh, and the history of, of the of, of all the, the planet around the world is and is the is from the beginning of uh, uh very cultures in, in the European in the European yeah. culture. And if 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 you have the opportunity to see a documental about Greece, you will find um, the food. They uh, they still have a old process to make different food and and um, the, um, the sauces. They still do it with with their hands. And with the original ingredients, natural ingredients, uh, I think it's very rich in culture. And it's the beginning of the all the politi politicians, or politicians, 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 no, politicians knowledge. Exactly. Is yeah. Greece is the the place where the politically burn. The police, okay. both police is politics, police, and the la politica nation, politica, politics, politics, with the politics born. Yes, and they have beautiful beaches too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that is the reasons that I will visit. visit. For me, I, I would like to travel to Akmahal. Tak Mahal Where? in India. El, the Tak Mahal. Ah, the Tak Mahal, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, a beautiful garden um, that engraved or that um, explains the power of the law. Ah, nice, so romantic. Yes, it's very romantic. It has. <laughs> it has. A uh, good history. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Who else? In my opinion, uh, if I could travel to anywhere in the world, I would like to visit the Camp Nou Stadium or the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium because I love the soccer match. And I go out to end. Very nice. Hi, Emerson. Hello, Mauricio. My pregunta is, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Well, I... This is one. That one, okay? Yes. Second slide, please. Yeah. please. I will let... Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, come on. Uh, in my case, I will go Japan. To Japan. Japan. And you, Emerson? Samurai. Yeah. Maurice is a samurai. Yes. Well, I, I would like to go to the Switzerland. Okay, Switzerland. Switzerland, mm -hmm. Switzerland yes. There is an amazing, um, how do you say, paisages. Landscapes? Landscape. There is an amazing landscapes. Landscapes. Uh -huh. The country is a, a very advanced and 
Advanced. Advanced. Mm -hmm. Advanced. And in education, uh, healthy. I like this 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 country. Okay. Okay. And the second one. If you could change one thing about your current job, what would what would it be and why? Well, I I would could change. Mm -hmm. I, will, <laughs> I, will <change> my <laughs> I will change your job. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm, maybe you would probably, I don't know, maybe um, remove some activities. Yes, maybe. Maybe I can. I can. I make remove the the workload like el volumen de trabajo la carga de trabajo no exactly okay this most of the procedures procedures the procedures mm -hmm. I okay. think that old procedures and sometimes that procedures don't don't allow and about uh, to new things or innovated about the, the process. Yes, I agree with you. Yes. This is stroke the process. Mm -hmm. How do you say it? Estropeo. Probably they damage. They damage the process. The process. The conditions don't can change. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. I agree. The procedures. Procedures. In my case, uh, I, I will not lie work in in my rest day. Ah, uh, in your day off. Yeah, it's days off. Sorry. Oh, Carlos. Uh, because don't don't get paid and I don't know receive an uh, incentive mm -hmm. or com compensation. <sighs> Okay, Carlos, yes. I think that, yes. Okay. Uh, in my case, I, I would change process in the production. As well, processes, procedures, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, next. Yeah, next. If you want to alert, alert sums of the money and in the lottery, how would you spend it? How would you spend it? Okay. I pay my house in one time. The first. I will spend in a, a, a business, in all business. Mm -hmm. a, uh, a restaurant, a typical food of El Salvador. Uh, I like to uh, my house, my car, many things. <laughs> okay. In my case, I would spend it in my house and travel and listen. In a business. Business. Okay. Next. If you could, if you could invent any new technological gadget, what will you, will it be, and how will it improve the people's lives? Mm -hmm. A new technological gadget. <laughs> Uh, 
I will I will invent a, a device for work working and a, a instrument from for the people uh, recovering uh, okay. la, la vista uh, the side or the side yes the side yes I think that would be good uh -huh. Okay. In, in my case, uh, I would invent an I purifying machine. Um, oh. Una máquina purificadora de aire. Mm. What do oh. you say? Existe árbol. <laughs> purifying machine. No. Purifying Purify machine. Air machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, that would be great. I think that that um another useful gadget could be something um that helps to prevent diseases, illnesses, right? Maybe a type of bracelet or something that tells that you are getting sick of something so you can prevent it. Mm -hmm. Something to prevent illnesses, something to 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 make you treat the illness in the right moment, right? I think that that would be great. I would invent that ship. Try ship that would and love star. You will you would invent a ship that allow okay allow would you, where, allow. where we can travel it about the around the stars and galaxies? Yes. Uh-huh, like around the stars, right? Or traveling by the stars. Yeah, it's raining a lot right here, guys. Okay. Um, okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, let's move to the other ones. Do you think people should take a test to become a parent? Mm -hmm. become a parent to become a parent right convertirse mm -hmm. I think it's a good idea it is a good idea I think that that should be the correct way of people getting kids, right? Like taking a test and then decide if they can become parents or no. But the, the reality is different. The reality is very different. I think the best way to the... Um, it's very important to uh, legal uh, uh, procedure. Too. Yes, that is true.
but it is very difficult, right? It is very difficult yeah. to 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 actually take a test because I don't know, maybe you will be prepared but probably you won't have the money or you don't have the skills. I don't know, right? Maybe nobody will be ready to be parent, right? No no one. Yes, but... because because uh, uh, many people say uh, advantage. Advantage, uh, <laughs> the aprobation. They take the advantage, the yes. Yes, take advantage, yes. Mm -hmm. For example, a eh, como se dice manutención. I'm not sure. Let me see. Eh, manutención. Maintenance. 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 Okay. Eh, eh, many people. Eh, Uh, give a uh, uh, money for maintenance. Yeah, like like um, child support. Child support, yes. Uh huh. Many people take advantage of that. That yeah. is true. That is true. Okay. Is 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 in in this case the the legal uh, uh, procedure. Yes. <clears throat> that is correct. Which is more For important? Me. Okay, okay, come on. Sorry. For me, I don't have a pick up. What do you say, opinion? Opinion. Opinion. Okay. For me, I don't have opinion. Okay. Which is more important, talent or hard work? Mm -hmm. I think that the discipline of the hard work is sometimes more than a talent. Mm-hmm. Because if you have a this strength for the do the things you have a, a result good result good results and for me it depend the work and mm. yeah work hard. And trabajo duro. Hasta el trabajo duro. Uh -huh. uh, la fuerza. To work hard. To work hard. Okay. And the talent thing is a, a administrative position okay um, only. yeah i think that at the end it is more important hard work i think that the talent is more important because uh, we we'll do a good job enjoy it in, in the yo-yo offers, I will say we add for your talents, not for you, no for we add for you hard work. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, uh -huh. you have a good point. Okay, Carlos, I think you have a good point. Mm. But without hard work, you cannot develop your talent. Yes, it, it's true. Mm -hmm. I agree. So I think that at the end, hard work would be the most essential skill, right? No, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay, let's continue. Do you need homework in all order to learn? Yes, le uh -huh. let me ask you that, guys. Do you need um you need do you need homework in order to learn or no? I think no, yes, it is unnecessary. Okay, Emerson, it is not necessary. Carlos, yes. For me, yes, because I need practice. But uh, I need the practice yes, made the master. Practice a made. Okay. okay, the master. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, the homework is, is, is necessary to, to learn. Uh, for example, in, uh, at the school, mm -hmm. uh, always, always uh, made the, the homework to, to the student uh, learn to learn every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you want why Emerson no? I think because it's the it's more important doing the, the fact act. You, you you can do you can learn doing the things. Ah, okay. At the moment, in, in that moment. Mm -hmm. I think the same. I mean, you know, there are different type of learners, right? So probably some of you learn by doing homework and maybe other ones just learn by listening and doing the things, right? So I think that there are different type of learners. And in this case, um, probably you, Emerson, you are just a visual learner, right? And you need to do the things also. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Um. Should the next, yeah. The next no. Oh yes, I mean the this one number two. Should a schools eliminate homework? Um. Que no era, is technology going to save the world or kill it? Yes, but in this case, since we are talking about school. Yeah, should the schools eliminate homework? No. I think okay. I agree with the eliminate this homework. Oh my God, Emerson. Okay, you you are okay. You agree. Okay. I think the best way is for the kids learn is. Show. Just participate, participate, do Please things, participate, participate, in this participate. Class. Yes. We should try, right? Uh -huh. There is no a school that actually uh, tries that. They all, all the schools, they leave homework, 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 right? Mm -hmm. But maybe it should be good, right, to have I don't know this methodology just by doing, just by participating, just by creating, but no homework. Mm. It could be good to try to see yeah, what happens, yes. right? At least one month, right? <laughs> I think I think they, they should uh, re reduce the, the homework and make more uh, 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 practical the activities. Yes, I agree. I agree. Okay. And what about the last one? Okay, should the use of cell phones be allowed at the workplace? Do you use your cell phone um at work? In my case, okay. yes. Okay. In the pen, because uh in uh in production here in the area production in the in the production area when use 
machinery is very dangerous. Dangerous. Danger. Okay. No. For me, estoy de acuerdo. I agree. I agree. Okay. Uh, I think that the uh, the is ne uh, necessary for uh, example a boss a, a supervisor uh, the 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 communication in the in the phone is very fast. Uh, I I don't agree that the the personal uh, of of production, uh, no, they know because uh, maybe they have a, a, a accident. Yes, I think that it is kind of difficult, right? Because sometimes you need the cell phone. I mean, it is necessary. But sometimes you can have some issues, right? You can it can be it can be dangerous. So I don't know. It, maybe, but I don't know. Maybe for some hours, right? For some hours, could be. For example, in, in my case, uh, they are uh, uh, scheduled for a schedule for C. A schedule just for for view the the telephone to 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 watch your phone yes yes really yes uh, for example uh, 10 i am uh, uh, 1 p.m oh. for 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 15 or or 10 minutes okay you have a schedule okay yes and and they have a locker for for telephone really for cell phones yes oh my god okay teacher okay. yes if uh if we have a good future of use but we don't have a future no, we don't have it, Maurice. So, yeah, they need to do that right now. Okay. And, all right. So let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Okay, thank you. Thank you, let's go back. Okay, so very good, guys. Atilio, you are at home already. Yes. Perfect. Okay, is it raining where you are? Yeah, yes. It's yeah. raining. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys, so we practiced already, right? We practiced a lot. We were practicing with um, most of you. All right, so um, let's see. Let me ask you just one of those questions and then we are going to move to the listening section, okay? Um, let me ask you number two, okay? Should schools eliminate homework? What do you think? And this question is actually related to this one. Do you need homework in order to learn? But no. in this case of, of the English class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Johnny. Let's talk about languages, okay? Not. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. Not. No. We go with Angor Jurel learning. But in general, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you need homework? 
No. Yes, Sonny. May I, if I think with what I was young, uh -huh. I, I love this idea, but because I, I, I had more time to play and more time to, to stay with my friends, more time to, to watch television and, and film other things. But mm -hmm. I think about this right now when I am old man, mm -hmm. I think that the homework is part of your study. You need to improve, to, to test, to practice, Mm -hmm. all the knowledge that you uh, get Acquired. In, the, in the school exactly and is, is total, totally necessary maybe we need to graduate the the load of the homework not mm -hmm. too much to yeah that uh -huh. to, to to be angry with your your students to to <laughs> okay. are not so slowly uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, not, uh, a little bit to be uh, happiness time all the time. Okay, is that, uh, do you need to make the uh, the quality equality or uh, the balance? The, the balance. balance. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys, we're going to take the listening uh, practices, but first I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. So say present. Aleida Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez Dominguez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez Quiñones. Present, teacher. Thank you, George. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Carla Sofía. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Thank you, Carla. Eh, Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Nelly. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. Yes, thank you, Pablo. Roberto Esaú Celaya Argumet. Roberto Esaú. Roberto. Ok. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Sandra Abigail. Ok. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Thank you, Tatiana. Wendy Marisela Ramírez Guevara. Wendy. And Wilbur Jonathan Bautista Aguilar. Ok. So let's take the first listening uh, quiz that we have. Let me send it right here. Okay, the passcode is listening. Let me see. Okay. Here we go. Give me one sec. Okay. Ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's pay attention. Welcome to First Mountain Bank's Automated Touchtone Information Service. 
Press one for banking hours. Press two for account history. Press three for money transfers. Press four for account interest rates. Press five for bank news. Press six at any time to return to the main menu. Press seven to end the call. Thank you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's all. <laughs> yes. Okay. Please okay. repeat them ten times more, please. <laughs> okay. Nos quedamos esperando. Del seis para regresar al menú. <laughs> okay, so let, okay, let's listen to it one more time, okay? <laughs> Welcome to First Mountain Bank's Automated Touchtone Information Service. Press 1 for banking hours. Press 2 for account history. Press 3 for money transfers. Press 4 for account interest rates. Press 5 for bank news. Press 6 at any time to return to the main menu. Press seven to end the call. Thank you. Okay, again, okay, here we go. Okay. Welcome to First Mountain Bank's automated touchtone information service. Press one for banking hours. Press two for account history. Press three for money transfers. Press four for account interest rates. Press five for bank news. Press 6 at any time to return to the main menu. Press 7 to end the call. Thank you. What about now? I got it, teacher. Okay. I'm going to replay it the last time. Okay, the last time. Okay. Welcome to First Mountain Bank's Automated Touchtone Information Service. Press 1 for banking hours. Press 2 for account history. Press 3 for money transfers. Press 4 for account interest rates. Press 5 for bank news. Press 6 at any time to return to the main menu. Press 7 to end the call. Thank you. Okay, so let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really fast, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. It's okay. It was really fast. Okay. So let's see. Next okay. game. The last, one. the last one for today. Okay. One more. Okay. Uh, let me see. Yes. There you go. The same thing. Okay. The passcode is listening. Let me see. Oh my gosh, here comes our race. <laughs> yes, okay. So let me let me see the yes, it is okay. All right, here we go. Pay attention, okay. In this video, we want to talk about Aubrey, your favorite meal. <laughs> and for many people, they're thinking, some people, oh, a nice salad. Other people are thinking about a nice juicy burger, other people fish and whatnot. But what about you? What would you view as the not ideal fish. Not, not fish, not fish, but what would be the ideal meal for you? Uh, what would be included? Uh, what are some of the, the, the ingredients and so forth? Yeah, I guess it really depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Um, I do tend to go through phases where I eat one thing every day for like several weeks. Right now, all I want to eat is refried beans and rice. <laughs> okay. Sounds simple. Yeah, it, it's so easy to make. Like you just get the beans. If you have a pressure cooker, you just get your beans, you pressure cook them. I can't remember how long I always look it up, but you just pressure cook them. You drain them, you rinse them off. You cook them a little longer then you smush them up. Okay. Butter, salt. Oh, that's simple. And with you the- You some jalapenos if you're feeling fancy. Oh. <laughs> and uh, what would you add if you, for example, wanted a piece of fruit or something like that, what would be your favorite fruit to have and what kind of drink? My favorite fruit were probably Asian pears. Okay. Because they have the crispness of an apple, 
but the flavor of a pear because I don't like the way apples taste mm -hmm. and I don't like how mushy like western pears are oh, okay yeah but that's I like great. the way they taste so Asian pear okay and then what about a drink and then to top things off a dessert um uh, my favorite drink right now is strawberry milk okay <laughs> I love it I have um I get my uh lactose free high protein milk and then I get sugar free strawberry syrup in it and then I just mix it up and take it to work with me. Okay. And then to top things the off dessert. What kind of dessert? Hmm. Ice cream is always a good one. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks for sharing your favorite meal. Okay. A second time. Here we go. In this video, we want to talk about Aubrey your favorite meal. <laughs> and for many people, they're thinking, some people, oh, a nice salad. Other people are thinking about a nice juicy burger. Other people, fish and whatnot. But what about you? What would you view as the not ideal fish. meal? Not, not fish, not <laughs> fish. But what would be the ideal meal for you? Uh, what would be included? Uh, what are some of the, the, the ingredients and so forth? <laughs> Yeah, I guess it really depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Um, I do tend to go through phases where I eat one thing every day for like several weeks. Right now, all I want to eat is refried beans and rice. <laughs> okay. Sounds simple. Yeah, it, it's so easy to make. Like you just get the beans. If you have a pressure cooker, you just get your beans, you pressure cook them. I can't remember how long I always look it up, but you just pressure cook them, you drain them, you rinse them off. You cook them a little longer, then you smush them up. Okay. Butter, salt. Oh, that's simple. And with you the throw in some jalapenos if you're feeling fancy. Oh. And <laughs> uh, what would you add if you, for example, wanted a piece of fruit or something like that? What would be your favorite fruit to have, and what kind of drink? My favorite fruit were probably Asian pears. Okay. Because they have the crispness of an apple but the flavor of a pear, because I don't like the way apples taste, mm -hmm. and I don't like how mushy like Western pears are. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's but I like great. the way they taste, so Asian pear. Okay, and then what about a drink, and then to top things off, a dessert? Um, my favorite drink right now is strawberry milk. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I have, um, I get my uh, lactose-free high-protein milk, and then I get sugar-free strawberry syrup in it, and then I just mix it up and take it to work with me. Okay. And then to top things the off, dessert. What kind of dessert? Mm, ice cream is always a good one. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks for sharing your favorite meal. Okay. Ready? Or not ready? No, no ready. Okay. The last time. Okay. The last time. In this video, we want to talk about, Aubrey, your favorite meal. <laughs> and for many people, they're thinking, some people, oh, a nice salad. Other people are thinking about a nice juicy burger. Other people, fish and whatnot. But what about you? What would you view as the not ideal fish. Not, not fish, not fish. But what would be the ideal meal for you? Uh, what would be included? Uh, what are some of the, the, the ingredients and so forth? Yeah, I guess it really depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Um, I do tend to go through phases where I eat one thing every day for like several weeks. Right now, all I want to eat is refried beans and rice. <laughs> okay. Sounds simple. Yeah, it, it's so easy to make. Like you just get the beans. If you have a pressure cooker, you just get your beans, you pressure cook them. I can't remember how long I always look it up, but you just pressure cook them. You drain them, you rinse them off, you cook them a little longer, then you smush them up. Okay. Butter, salt. Oh, that's simple. And with you the throw in some jalapenos if you're feeling fancy. Oh. And <laughs> uh, what would you add if you, for example, wanted a piece of fruit or something like mm -hmm. that? What would be your favorite fruit to have? And what kind of drink? My favorite fruit were probably Asian pears. Okay. Because they have the crispness of an apple but the flavor of a pear, because I don't like the way apples taste, mm -hmm. and I don't like how mushy like Western pears are. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's But I great. like the way they taste, so Asian pear. Okay, and then what about a drink, and then to top things off, a dessert? 
Um, my favorite drink right now is strawberry milk. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I have, um, I get my uh, lactose free high protein milk and then I get sugar free strawberry syrup in it. And then I just mix it up and take it to work with me. Okay. And then to top things the off, dessert. What kind of dessert? Mm, ice cream is always a good one. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, thanks for sharing your favorite meal. Okay, let's see. Okay, I can see that very good, okay. Very good scores on this one. All right, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Thank you very much for joining today. I'll see you back tomorrow. I hope you have a good night. Take care and rest, okay? Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Good night, you to everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you, Miss. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Emerson.